Hey guys, Chad Trafkubin here. Today I'm going to do a quick lesson on how to put a symbol into another symbol. Now when I did my walking animation tutorial last week, I used this method, but I didn't show how to do it. And since then I've gotten a few questions and emails asking me how to put a symbol within a symbol. It's actually pretty easy, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is we obviously need to have something on the stage we're going to do this for. And as you can see, I have a character on the stage. And I also have a bunch of layers that go along with him. I have in a bunch of keyframes as well. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to highlight the entire character with my selection tool. So all of the frames and layers are highlighted on my timeline. I'm then going to right click one of the frames and I'm going to click copy frames. We're going to use this later. Now, with my entire character still highlighted, we are going to hit F8 to create a symbol. I will name this symbol Walking1, and the type can be a graphic, and we'll go ahead and hit OK. So now we have our symbol, and if we double click to go into it, you'll see that uh, the, um, all the layers actually merge into one, but that's OK. What we're going to do now while we're in the symbol and with our character highlighted again, we're going to hit F8 again to create another symbol, hence the symbol within the symbol. So I'm just going to name this one Walking 2, Graphic, and hit OK. Now when I double click that symbol, you'll see now that I'm in two symbols. We have the scene, Walking 1, now we're in the Walking 2 symbol. Now remember the frames we copied? We're going to paste them into this symbol. So come down here to layer 1 with this uh, and then right click that frame on layer 1 and then click paste frames. And then you can go ahead and drag your character back down if he happens to pop up like mine did. As you can see now, all of those layers and keyframes are back. This will now allow us to go ahead and easily animate all the separate um, layers that we have here because before it was just one layer when we made the symbol and that makes it kind of hard to edit and animate your um, character or whatever you have if you only have one layer. But anyway, so you can go ahead here for example and animate your legs like I showed you last time and then come back out here to the first symbol and you can go ahead then and do the animation of the up and down tweening animation like I showed you before in that tutorial. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you do a symbol within a symbol. It's pretty easy and it can be quite useful, especially for the previous tutorial I've been talking about. So anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time.